Photo and file storage apps are great for storing all of your photos and videos, but getting your files out can be a bit of a fight. It is time to take control and know how to download all of your images from your favorite photo and file storage programs. Hi, I'm Amanda Littlecott, the Photo Organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Whether you want to back up all of your images or migrate to another cloud service, getting your photos out of your chosen app or program can be a bit of an uphill struggle. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you the lowdown of how to get your photos out of the most popular photo and file storage programs. It's time to take control. For all, plug in your phone. Yes, it is that simple. Take your phone and plug it into your computer. Find your phone as a drive, select your photos and copy and paste them to where you want. Your computer may even auto play your phone as a drive and ask you if you want to download your photos. If that doesn't happen and you can't find the hidden photos folder in the not very helpful folder structure, my top tip is to go to your phone, find a photo and go to the information for that photo. Find the name of it and then go and search for that name in your phone folders. It will then lead you to all of them. Simple. Google Photos. Lots of people have wanted to get their photos out of Google Photos since they stopped their free unlimited photo storage back in June 2021. It doesn't mean that it's any easier to get your photos out, but you have a couple of options. Google Photos. Download multiple photos. To download multiple photos from Google Photos, you can use the Google Photos web browser option. Click on the tick marks in the top left-hand corner on the photos or videos you want to download. Hold down Shift and click further down on the photo roll if you want to select multiple photos at once. Click on the three dots in the top right-hand corner of the screen and click download. Your download should now begin. Google Photos, download all your photos. Downloading all of your photos from Google Photos is a lot less straightforward. On the Google Photos app, there is no way of batch downloading everything directly from there. Instead, you have to head on over to Google Takeout. Google Takeout lets you download any of your data from your Google account whether it's your Chrome history, Google Play activity, Google Play books, Hangouts history, or Google photos, you name it. Under manage your Google account, go to data and privacy. Scroll a bit to find the download your data section to find Google takeout. Click deselect all. This ensures you are not downloading your entire Google history because we really don't need that. Scroll down the list and select Google Photos. You can either download specific albums by clicking on all photo albums included, or if you haven't separated all your photos into albums because who has time for that, Google will separate them by year. Once you're happy with your selections, click OK. Scroll to the bottom of all of the options and select Next Step. In the export settings that come up, your first choice is to choose your delivery method either a download link or add to another service like Dropbox or OneDrive. Let's stick with an email for now. You can then choose how often you want to download all of your Google Photos content, either once or every two months for one year. Next is to select the file and size. Zip is easier to use, so let's go with that one. And for the file size, the default is two gigabytes. But keep in mind, exports larger than two gigabytes will be split into multiple files. Then click create export when you are good to go. Your files are now on their way, but you may need to wait a few minutes or maybe a bit longer, depending on how large your collection is. But note you can cancel at this point if you want. Once your export is ready, you can download your photos by clicking on the download button next to each export file. You can download it wherever you want, your computer, a hard drive, you choose. But note, the download link expires after one week. And if you went for an email notification, you can also download the exports directly from your email 
inbox. Simple. Apple photos. Now, Apple Photos is one of those photo apps that likes to have your photos and hang on to them for dear life. It has become a bit easier over time, so there are a few options, even if you are a PC user. Apple Photos, download multiple photos. The most basic way to download photos from Apple Photos is to use the Apple Photos app on your Mac. So head on over to it. Select the photos you want to download. For a selection of individual photos, click each photo while holding down the control key to select the photos and select a run of photos. Select the first photo in the run of photos, hold down the shift key and click the last photo in the run of photos and it will select all of the photos. With your photos selected, go to the menu and select file and go to export. I would recommend selecting the normal export and not the unmodified export as then all of your titles, keywords, captions and location information will come out with all your photos. Next, select the kind of photo you want to export. I would go for JPEG and keep the include title keywords, captions and location information both ticked. For the file name, you can choose from using the title, the file name, sequential or the album name with a number. If you are downloading from an album, I would definitely recommend the album name with number, but otherwise just go for file name. Then select your subfolder format, either moment name or none. If you are downloading from all photos, the moment will be the dates of the photos and click export. Select where you want the photos to download and click export again and you are all done. Apple Photos, download all your photos to your Mac. To download all of your photos using the Apple Photos export function is a waste of your life. So I use an amazing app called Photos Takeout. You will have to buy it, but believe me, it is worth it. Before you can use the joy that is Photos Takeout, there is one little check you first need to do on your Apple Photos library. That is to make sure it is the current system library. To check, go to your Apple Photos library, go to the menu and select Photos, then Preferences. And in the General tab, make sure that Use as System Photo Library is greyed out. If it isn't, press the button and if it is, you are good to go. But first, close Apple Photos as Photo Takeout needs it closed to access your library. Open up Photos Takeout and a prompt will come up to select your source, which is your Apple Photos library that you have just checked is your current system library. So in the left hand panel, click next to the blue source folder and go to where your library is saved and select it. The catalog may take a while to load up depending on how big your library is. Then we need to select where you want your export to be saved. It can be even an external hard drive if you don't have enough space on your computer. For the export options, select photos and videos unless there is a reason as to why you only want one or the other. I would also recommend having keep metadata ticked because then all the metadata in the background will come with your photos and you choose on if you want unmodified or not. When you are happy with your settings, you now need to pick your photos to download. You have three options, years, albums or moments, which is basically days. To click all the years, albums or moments in your library, click on the top level and go straight to export. To be more specific, select the relevant area to expand the view below and select the parts you want to download. To select multiple individual folders, click on each selection while holding down the control key. And for a run of folders, click the first folder, hold down that shift key and click the last folder. Depending on what you are downloading, you have some extra settings to play with. For exporting albums, if you keep ordered albums ticked, it will preserve any custom arrangements you have done in your albums. So worth ticking, but I don't include folders. Then when it comes to exporting years, I also tick to keep subfolders. So it will give you the years and months as it downloads. So it is doing half of the sorting for you. Once you're happy, head on over to the export button and your export will start. 
A really helpful progress indicator will show in the left hand side so you can see just how far you have got. How nice and simple is that? Apple Photos, download all of your photos to your PC. Having a PC and an iPhone is not as weird as you might think. I am a believer of spreading my loyalty, so I have everything, but there was a time when I was an iPhone and a PC user, which means no Apple Photos library on your computer to download from. You could use iCloud.com to get them, but you are limited to a thousand images at a time. So what do you do? There are a couple of third-party apps out there like Copy Transcloudly or iMazing that would do the job, but there is a simple and free way. Use iCloud for Windows app on your computer. Once the download of the app is complete, click on the downloaded iCloud setup file and follow the on-screen instructions to install iCloud for Windows on your computer. When prompted, sign into your iCloud account by entering your Apple ID and your password. On the next screen, select Photos option by clicking on the little box next to Photos. Click on Options to select what you want to download and click on Change to change the location of where you want it. Click Done and then Apply and it will download to the location you picked. You can then go into that folder and see all of your iCloud photos. Amazon Photos Amazon Photos is a great option for your photos now but getting them out can feel a little bit of a mystery. But you actually have some better options than Google Photos. Amazon Photos, download multiple photos. To download multiple photos from Amazon, it is best to head on over to the Amazon Photos web browser. Click on the tick mark in the top left-hand corner of the photos or videos you want to download. Hold down shift and click further down on the photo screen if you want to select multiple photos at once. Unfortunately, it is not possible to download an entire album from the browser. You need to open the album and select all the pictures you want to download. In the menu that appears at the top, select download and Amazon will create a zip file of the photos you selected. Amazon Photos, download all your photos. None of these options are great if you have a ton of photos you want to take out or you want to take everything out and move away from Amazon Photos. For that, we need to use the Amazon Photos desktop app that has both a PC and a Mac version. So obviously, the first thing to do is to download the app and install it. Log into your Amazon account and as you go through the screens, select to choose folders later. In the home area, select download on the left hand menu and go to folders. Select the folders or albums to be downloaded and click download to. Select the location of where you want to download it to. You can select a folder. You could even do it to an external hard drive to save space and it will download everything. But if you are doing all of your photos, it may take a while. So be patient. Dropbox. For Dropbox, you will see a similar theme to Amazon Photos with browser and app options depending on how many photos you want to download. Dropbox, download multiple photos. To download multiple photos, head on over to the Dropbox browser version and log in. If your photos have been loaded from your phone, they will probably be in the special photos area in the menu on the left. So select that, click on the tick marks in the top left hand corner of the photos or videos you want to download. Hold down the shift key and click further down in a list of photos if you want to select multiple photos at once. For photos you have loaded as files and folders, they sometimes don't appear in that photo section. So you need to go to the all files section, select the folder where your photos have been stored, tick the images you want to download, and then click download and your zip file will be downloaded just like that. Dropbox, download all your photos. For a large amount of photos or all of your photos, you are better off using the Dropbox desktop app that you can either get for PC or Mac. Once you have downloaded the desktop app, Dropbox will show in File Explorer and Finder as a location. Just go to the folder, find what you want to download and copy and paste them to where you want. 
If the folder isn't showing, you probably are not syncing that file or folder to your computer. So you need to go and adjust your settings. To do that, go to the Dropbox icon in the tray by the clock in a Windows PC or in the menu at the top on a Mac and go to the account area and select preferences. In the sync area, go to selectively sync and tick the folder you want to be synced to your computer or hard drive. Simple. OneDrive. OneDrive is the simplest of the lot. You just need to have the OneDrive app on your computer or Mac. If you have Windows 10, OneDrive is already installed on your PC. If you're using another version of Windows or a Mac, you just need to install the OneDrive app to get started. OneDrive. Download all photos. The OneDrive folder will appear in your Explorer or Finder folder list. You just go to the Pictures folder and copy and paste the files to where you want them. It may take a while as the photos are downloading, but you can also copy it to an external hard drive to save space on your computer. Slow, I know, but you will get there. So there you have it, how to download all of your photos from your favorite photo storage and backup apps. What is your top tip for downloading your photos? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos and videos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share. And don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.